Welcome. This video will be an in-depth guide about Factorella. As the name suggests, if you have a short attention span issue, it is better to just skip this whole video entirely, cause otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, not knowing how Factorella works will be your loss anyway. Okay, so after test over test over test, the first thing that I want you to know is about how HP ceiling works in this game. Everella has two HP ceilings. The first one won't exceed 40% of her HP, and the second one won't exceed 60% of her HP. And in this game, there is no limit to how much you can activate this HP ceiling as long as you can heal back up to 100% HP after each fatal hit. With that piece of information in mind, you should have already know what is the best gear set to be used on her. Everella surely has an inbuilt 30% leech rate on her S2, but it is not enough. Moving to the crucial part, I want to correct something. The minimum rank up you need for Everella to function in PvP is not at R2, but at R3, because it will make her S3 start only at plus 1 CD. Now take a look at this. Everella S3 CD reduction passive upon an ally or anyone's death at R5 can only activate one time every one turn, and it only reduces one turn of her S3 CD. So even when two of my allies died, on her turn, my R1 Everella still has her CD at plus 2, and this is why R3 is the minimum rank up that you need in PvP. Lower than R3 is still alright to use in raid as a sub DPS for her counter attack mechanics. Third and probably last part to this video, you need to know that Everella has a slow base speed. So even at max speed research with a speed set, she can only get 265 speed. 265 speed in a higher tier arena means nothing. So to cover up for this, you need to put at least one CS set on her, which brings us into her best build. Now 260 Now 26 No 265 speed in uh, No 265 speed 265 speed in 265 speed in uh, 260 